So an accordion is a UI element and it allows content to be displayed in a collapsible format based on an action. So if you click on it or if you tap on it, it can expand or collapse to present or for you to see all the information that falls under that particular accordion item. So you'll be using accordions if you want to create frequently asked question sections. So each question can be an accordion item and you're going to show the answer whenever the accordion item is clicked. So when should you avoid using accordions? First, when all the content needs to be visible, there is no need for you to hide the information under an accordion. So if it needs to be visible simultaneously, then leave it the way it is. You don't need to use an accordion. Another scenario in which you shouldn't use an accordion is when the user needs to compare different sections of content. So expanding or collapsing might confuse the user or just might interrupt the flow. It's preferable to put them the way they are and not hide them under an accordion. Now that we have an idea of what accordions are, let's start designing. So in front of us, we have uh, text. This is going to be frequently asked questions for an e-commerce store, and we will not have to copy it from somewhere else. Then we're going to start creating accordion using this frame. So what I'm going to do first is to duplicate a question and answer. So I'll select both, hit shift and select the second one. I'm going to hold an option and duplicate. So the next thing I'm going to do is to bring in the icons. Because we're going to need to expand and collapse our accordion items, we need icons to indicate that action. So I'm going to go on the assets. I'm going to type in add because I know the name of the icon. And I'm going to enter remove. OK. So. Currently, we already have a view because we can see the question and answer. So this is already an expanded state. So if the answer is hidden, if this answer is hidden, then it means that it's going to be in the collapse state. The user will need to have to click on it or to tap on it to be able to expand and see the answer. I'm going to increase the width of the question and we're going to use the remove or the minus icon. So I'm going to select both, hit Shift A to give it an auto layout, and I'm going to change it to align left center, okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is just to expand our answer. And just because it has answer here, I just want to delete its path. I will shift the plus icon aside because we don't need it for now. The next thing we have to do is to add a padding top, bottom, left and right. So it's going to be a vertical and horizontal padding. So with this selected, I'm going to come to where we have the vertical padding and I'm going to give it a padding of 16. Then I'm going to give this a horizontal padding of 24. Great. So before we go to the answer, I just want to change the colors here. With this selected, I'm going to come to where we have fill. Click on the plus button, then I'm going to click on the color panel and I'm going to select the red color because I want the background to be red. So this is going to indicate the active state. Now I want to change the text and the icon to white. So with this selected, I'll come to where we have selection colors, click on black and we are going to just select white, click on this other color and we are going to select white. The next thing we are going to do is to give this an auto layout too. So with the answer selected, I just want to add a padding around it. So I'm going to hit Shift A and I will just adjust this. So I want the horizontal padding to be 24 or so. And I want the vertical padding to be 16. Okay. Now I want to add a background here. So I will still come to where we have fill. Click on the plus icon and we are going to give this some sort of a light grayish color. So I'm okay with this. Both widths, so we have 990 and we have 990. So I'm okay with both. I'm going to select both. Hit Shift A to give it an auto layout. So we have succeeded in creating our expanded state. Now I want us to create our collapse state. What I'm going to do is to click on this, make sure this is selected, hold on Option, Shift, and I'll just drag it down. 
I'm going to delete the answer part because the answer is not supposed to be visible in the collapse space. The next thing I'm going to do is to select the plus icon. I will just hit Command X or Control X to cut. Then I'm going to come within the box, select this icon, right click, and what we are going to do is to paste to replace. So it's going to take out the minus and replace it with the plus icon that I just cut. And I will leave the color the way it is because I want to change the background of the inactive state. So in this case, I'm saying that the collapsed state is inactive or it's off while the expanded state is active or it's on. So I want to change the background of this. I'm going to make sure this is selected. Then I'm going to come to where we have the red on the selection colors. I'll just look for a lighter shade of red. Then for the white, I want the white to be black. So I'll come to white and I'll just select black. I'll also come to the icon. I want them to have a uniform color. I'm going to select black too. So we have succeeded in creating a expanded and collapsed state. The next thing I'm going to do is to create a component. So I'm going to zoom in so we see what we are doing. I'm going to select both. And what we're going to do is to come to the component icon. I'm going to click on the drop down, And what we're going to do is to create a component set. So let's rename these to accordion item. So now the next thing we're going to do is to prototype this such that if I click on this, which is the expanded state, it's going to collapse. And if I click on the collapse state, it's going to expand. With this selected, I'm going to come to the properties panel and I'll just double click just to change it to states. And we are going to start adding our states now. So select the first one, which is the expanded state. And we are going to give this a value of on. And I'm going to select this and we're going to give it a value of off. So it could be true or false. So when it's on, it's expanded. And when it's off, it's collapsed. Now that our states are in place, we are going to prototype to make sure this works the way it should. So select a component. Then we're going to click on the prototype tab. Next, we're going to click inside the component and select the expanded state. And we're going to click on the plus icon, drag it down to the collapse state. And we're going to now change our values. On click, we want the interaction to change to the off state, which is the collapse state. It should smart animate, and we're going to leave the values just the way they are. So if your values don't match mine, just try to match it to mine, then we'll go to the next stage. Next, we're going to select the collapse state, click on the plus button, and drag it up to the expanded state. On click, it should change to the on state and it should smart animate. So our values are going to remain the way they are. Now we need to test to see if this prototype actually works. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to take this component out of our frame and I'm going to select the collapse state, duplicate it option and drag it down. Then I'll just go back to my design tab and we're going to select this frame. I'm going to come to where we have a present icon and I'm going to click on it to see if our accordion is going to work the way it should. So I click on it, it expands and I click on it, it collapses. So it works. But now this is not the end. Usually when you're working with accordions, we have more than one question. And the goal is if you click on one question, it expands while the other one collapses. If you click on the next question, the first one collapses while the question you just selected expands. So I want us to prototype to make sure that it works the way it should. I'm going to go back to our tab and I'm going to create a prototype for a collapsible that works with more than one question. So what I'm going to do is we are going to be borrowing our questions and answer again. Remember that we had some questions and answers here. So I would duplicate the first one, alt click and drag it down. We are going to expand this so it has the expanded state or the on state. We leave this as the first question. So this is going to be our first question. Then I'll just bring this down so that our second question is going to go here. 
then our third question is going to go here. Now, I will just copy this text. And I'm going to copy this text. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is to duplicate this. So I will just bring this out. It will be easier for me to work with this if it's out. This is going to be our first set. Remember, we have three questions. So they are supposed to work. If I click on the second question, it expands. The first one collapses. This one stays collapsed. If I click on the third one, it expands. The first and second have to collapse. The next thing I'm going to do is just hit Shift A to give it an auto layout. And our vertical gap should be 16. Great. I will call this question one. And I'm going to duplicate this frame. Option, drag. So now this is supposed to be collapsed while this is supposed to be expanded. I will copy the answer from here, Control C, and I'm going to paste it here. Okay. Now the last one is going to be question three. So I will just change this to question three, question two rather, Then I'll change this to question three. So we're going to collapse this and we're going to expand the last question. And I want to copy the answer of the last question and we're going to paste it here. Great, so now we have three sets of questions in which the first one is expanded, in the second one, the second question is expanded and in the third, the third question is expanded. Now, the last thing we're going to do is to create a prototype for this. So I'm going to select all three. And we're going to come up to the component icon and we're going to create a component set. We'll just call this accordion. And let's start prototyping to make sure it works the way it should. Okay. So... When this is expanded, I'm going to come to the prototype tab. I'm going to click on the first one. So if I click on this, it should take me to this part. We're going to make sure that I unclick, it changes to question two and the smart animates grid. And I'll just drag this to the third one. I'll come now to the second set. I'll drag it to the first and I'm going to drag this to the third. I'll come to the last one. I'm going to drag it to the first and I'm going to drag this to the second. So I just need to make sure that everything is the way it should. I'm going to duplicate this and we need to test to see if this is working. Click on the frame and we're going to click again on the present icon and we test to see if this works. So this is how it's supposed to work. So guys, we've come to the end of our tutorial. I hope that you've been able to understand the basics of an accordion and how to design and prototype an accordion that you can use in any of your web or mobile projects. Till next time, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.